In our school zone coverage tonight, for the last month, Davenport Central and Williams Intermediate have been no cell phone zones. They're piloting a program to curb distractions and promote a better learning environment. Joe Habersham joins us in studio with feedback from the two principals one month into their policies. Good evening, Joe. Good evening, John. Having cell phones in classrooms has really become an issue for students. I mean, it's a daily distraction for them and it's in everybody's pockets today, but the Davenport Central and Williams Intermediate are changing that. Just saying, put it in your pocket, they, they can't handle it. Imagine teaching a class, and every time you turn around, you see a 14-year-old on their phone. That's the battle teachers at Davenport Central faced. You know, the challenge of trying to find a system where we could lock them up all day was a little bit more difficult for us. Before adding cell phone lockers like these to every classroom, and although they were expecting backlash, it's part of their culture at this point. Things have gone surprisingly well. Overall, uh, when we talk to students in the hallways, they're saying they appreciate us helping them manage um, the cell phone deal. Williams Intermediate plays a critical role in the pilot program, one that hopes to help students focus on their work during the school day. Williams Intermediate knew it would change the way it handled smartphones last year. We have a no cell phone policy. And instead of getting students their phone during breaks, they keep their devices in yonder bags for the entire school day. Why aren't we creating a system that makes it so they just have no access to their phone instead of saying, please keep it put away? The staff at Williams Intermediate did a walkthrough last year measuring students' engagement in class. At the end of the year, 72% of the students were dialed in. And this year, they're already seeing an 11% increase. If it takes off and we continue with this route, I see kids just becoming more used to, it's something that they have access to sometimes, but not the lifeline that it was before. Principal Johnson meets with members on the Davenport Community School District every month as a part of this pilot program. And if things continue to go well, this could be something that we see in more schools. John? All right, Joe, thank you.